Good morning, folks, and a big congratulations to the Freedom Convoy for reaching Ottawa. Don't like that position? Feel free to get your space weather and catastrophism elsewhere. I'm sure there's tons of me's out there. Anyway, we started with 171 angstroms in yellow because the filament ejection off the limb was visible, but not the big story on the sun here in bronze and 193 angstroms. M-class solar flare, CME directly at Earth. It was a longer duration event as a small filament ejected with the blast came from that northern active region we identified yesterday right dead center in the grouping. As we zoom in here, we should see the flash and ejecting material ripping away from the active region. Both the small filament and the larger flare-driven CME are visible on SOHO. No question, this one is coming directly at Earth, and initial forecast says an impact is coming Monday night or Tuesday. Stereo A confirming the ejection trajectory towards Earth, and moderate to strong geomagnetic storms of KP6-7 to are possible during the impact. Still far from scary levels. Up first in the articles, sister studies seeking pre-seismic signals. This first one identifies geomagnetic field variations before the quake, and the second on ionospheric anomalies indicative of lithosphere-atmosphere-ionosphere coupling before the quake. And now we're on to Earth's magnetic field, where the ongoing pole shift is being studied to look down the line at plasma sphere erosion due to non-symmetrical field setup. As Earth's magnetic poles shift, they are taking away the dipole shape of the field, and this is what will be eroding major amounts of the upper reach and causing dramatic shifts in airflow and radiation exposure and everything weather-related in between. The atmosphere is losing its shield. And in that vein, let's go to a story about energy from space and an atmosphere left vulnerable. Antarctica is now a conundrum for climate scientists because they figured their Montreal Protocol and subsequently closing ozone hole would reduce UV exposure at the southern continent. Instead, what's happened is Earth's weaker magnetic field is allowing continued ozone destruction and enhanced particle flux into the region. This is something we have gone over in detail in the answer to the climate mystery. It's coming from catastrophism and geomagnetic secular variation. And last but not least, back in October, in the morning news shows on the 5th and 11th, we discussed coronal rain and how it is a dangerous trigger for solar eruptions. This was also critical because the effect of the galactic magnetic reversal coming with the current sheet should create massive coronal rain across the entire sun helping to lead to the Micronova event. We had shared a preprint that is now published in mainstream science. Indeed, the trigger mechanism works. This interaction of plasma is paramount to everything from basic solar dynamics to sun diving comets triggering CMEs to how the sun will be affected at the crescendo of the ongoing changes. And boom. If you didn't catch yesterday afternoon's special video, it's on the volcanic events in the disaster cycle. Eyes on the sun for more eruptions today. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.